Beep, bubble, beep. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries. Today is Sunday, June 27th, 2021. Wow, there it goes. It is, yeah, this June 27th. It's currently 3.04 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There has been coronal mass ejections there on the 25th, two on the 25th, and now into the 27th, there has been another two. So, that's four major coronal mass ejections that are going to be in our environment the next, I would say, in the next day to three days. So some significant space weather to start off with. We're currently in the Aquarius moon right now, which is awesome because that's my natal moon. It talks about sensitivities in the calf, ankle, shin, forearms, muscles, and thyroid today. So we have some significant evidence of space weather coming in. We also have some sunspots that spaceweather.com is mentioning aren't mingling close enough, so they aren't sending out flares, even though we did have a flare a few days ago. That's what's over here, but these have to yet rotate forward. So we will see those into the coming week. That's what they look like on this particular chart. We have in the predict predictive model have quite a bit of energy that's flying around. We have multiple waves from those CMEs coming out in multiple directions. And then this other huge wave that's just rotating through, which could have been from the solar flare. I hadn't actually seen how that particular wave developed, but right now we're seeing low geo geomagnetic pressure. The C-class flare happened on June 25th, around 1400 hours universal standard time. The Schumann resonance has also been going off quite substantially over the last 24 hours, especially last night here in the Western Hemisphere at least. We had, I would say that this began around two in the morning and so it kind of expanded in through the morning and we're currently having another impulse being picked up here on the Russian chart. The birds in my house are very excited about this. The impact of the amplitude of the primary Schumann resonance was a 78 last night. So if you're having trouble sleeping last night, don't worry about it. This is pretty much some excellent evidence on why that could have been. We also saw in Italy more disturbances in the past week around Thursday, June 24th, 23rd, 22nd. Um, like I said, we're seeing about 100 kilometers over average solar wind speed right now, but nothing too outstanding. Tonight, instead of a space weather update, we're going to be doing an interview with one of our family of light gathering speakers, our very first kind of get to know you little promo stream we're going to do together with our friend Matthew. So please come tonight after the Space Force news and come visit us and ask us all the questions you want. And thanks again for jumping in on the flash sale of our conference. We're really excited to share that time with you. And until next time, I will see you next week.